I still read lah. <coughs> ni Jeffrey, he was to become president of Sabah, dia bilang. Sebab so, itu, he's raising the 20 points. So, that time, just because I'm raising the 20 points, our rights, that I, I wanted to secede, no, we just want our right, that's all. You see? So, they used us as an excuse to chop, 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 chop. Uh, control lah. Control and interfere and this is what happened. Now, Omno sudah masuk. Apa sudah jadi? Omno become the new colonial master. In order to maintain power, apa dia buat? Eh, ini sampai dan mesti tukar. Pertama, dia buang itu sok kita bawa. Langkut pun dia buang seperti tahu di mana. Masih kecil sih. Dia untuk Inggris untuknya sih. Inggris banggar. Ah, di sana lah dia begitu. Banyak sih ya. What happened? Dia change the constitution dia boundary. Jerry Mandering. Dia salut sini, salut sana. Supaya dia boleh dapat mau konstituen sih. And then, apa lagi tambah? Ay, ini. Pengundi hantu. Mana mau talib? Mana dia punya buku itu? Pengundi hantu. Pengundi untuk disewa. Projek Mahathir. Semua ini design to change the hosting structure to control sana. To maintain power of Omno. Why Omno want to control here? Because they want to use this for their political competition in Zerna Jom. Di sana yang dia, dia dia, we have no meaning to them. They just want to control us, so they can play the politics thing. But the damage is here in Sabah, in this country. And now what happened? We are stuck with it. Divide and rule. Om Noh say, okay, saya ambil tiga puluh dua kursi. Yang lain, apa si dua tiga? Jangan kau bising, kau kau bising, kau keluar. Dia boleh control. They can say, oh, I have 32, he can all go out from Muli, they belong. Tapi, dia itu kan atur. You see how way back we have to come. Because of this politic of divide and rule, this politic of any communal politic of race. So, become now, kita kena jangkit penyakit. Kita pun kena bagi-bagi sudah. Kita cakap sikit tentang apa ini? Uh, agama oh, sudah jadi sensitif apalagi tentang Allah it become very big but my view time of change kalau dulu sikit-sikit dia pergi uh, bakal itu penampak uh, apa itu gereja mungkin sudah orang marah dia buang uh, kepala babi di masjid apalagi memang sudah marah kurang. tapi sekarang The people have grown mature. Dia tahu, oh, ini umpan supaya ada huru hara dalam negara kita. Bila ada huru hara dalam negara kita, nanti kita boleh apply emergency, suspend kita punya constitution, dan kita boleh apa ini pemerintah tanpa pengembangan. They use emergency power. Tapi, my friends, time has changed. And you are the people who will decide the future of this country. If you want to continue what is happening now, you know, divide and rule politics, Sabah subjugated, subjugated, Sarawak subjugated, all the 20 point agreement, tidak kena pakai, then you must know what to do. Then, If you want to bring this country to a stage where we will disintegrate, destroy this country, then you you continue what is the status quo. But if you want to change, if you want a new Malaysia, if you want this country to be more competitive, progressive, united, then you are responsible. You are the one who will change. As in Semenanjo, it has happened already in Election 2008, a lot of things happen that never happened in history. 50 years, it's not a problem, but it's not a problem.
already, they have already started the change there. And not because simply because of Hendra, but because of many factors, including the awareness, technological development, and information, and so on. So that today people don't only read the newspaper, only look at the television, but they look elsewhere. So most of you here are connected to cyber, the internet. And this is where you can exchange information. And this is where the power of your vote, the power of your information will make the difference. Kalau tidak, we are doomed. And I'm afraid, you know, uh, people like us who are already passing away, mungkali, ini saya dua tiga kali sudah mau mati, tapi tidak juga mati. Okay. We are passing by. You have to spread the news. And if you want change, we have to do the change. Don't wait for it. The government has made us a hostage to the political situation right now. Hostage. Tidak ada pilihan. Nah, satu pilihan saja. Bukan tidak ada pilihan. Satu pilihan saja. Tidak ada pilihan lain. Because bilang, tadi saya boleh boleh buat apa apa. Opposition tidak boleh buat apa apa. I'm not asking you to support the opposition. We even though I'm opposition, I'm speaking as a Malaysian, as a uh, anak bangsa Malaysia. Okay. So before I conclude, I just want to say this. First of all, let us free ourselves from this hostage situation. Well, how? Number one, we have to educate ourselves by awareness, information, read history. Even history, they are trying to ubat, tapi never mind. Number two, you must participate actively. Use your rights to change things. Communicate. Don't be afraid. Government or politicians, whatever, whoever they are. I don't care because I'm also a politician, but don't have to follow what I say. But look at the, the truth and follow your heart, follow your mind, use your eyes. Your mind's eyes. Then if we do that, we will save this country from disintegration. And to Chong, We'll talk about how serious we are right now. Just on one particular uh, aspect of our political situation, our security. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I say thank you and God bless you.